Hi, my name is George Casey, and we're here today at the Denver Technology Experience Center talking to you about sentiment analysis. So sentiment analysis is a new field of artificial intelligence by which we either look at text or we look at uh, computer imaging, like facial recognition, to understand and infer human sentiment. So in this case, we're going to use uh, a video camera on a screen simulating if we were having a video chat with prospects and understanding how their mood might be changing as we make our sales pitch or uh, with employees that we have a conversation and want us to understand how are they reacting to this conversation, all based on the premise that 80% of communication is nonverbal. And we can infer some of that and provide that insight directly to the communicator in real time. So this is based on technology we've developed using a Node.js app that reaches us into the Microsoft Face API. Now the Face API has a lot, is a library and suite of, of uh, AI capabilities, including facial recognition and sentiment analysis, but basically has a pre-trained model of facial expression that it's attributed to different sentiments. So we're going to start our demo and I'll change my facial expression throughout the conversation and we'll have the computer make those inferences. So I'm neutral right now and maybe I'll change to happy because I'm excited to be talking about this new technology and, and how it can impact our, our customers and their business applications. Or I might have something that upsets me and it might make me angry and, and I'm concerned about how this is going to impact my business and my, uh, my job in the future. Or I might be surprised. Maybe there's some new news that was shared and I can see that. Now you'll see throughout the bottom, this my kind of happiness level is graphed over time in the call. And I can go back and, and analyze uh, for future analysis on what part of my conversation may have caused my uh, message to change the sentiment or the mood of those receiving it. So I think this is an interesting example of how we can leverage artificial intelligence and Microsoft tools and libraries to solve interesting business problems for our clients.